for a sec. Wait here. Um, this week is Era Week, mm-hmm. and we have the 1940s, and we're doing a jitterbug. Mm-hmm. Just terrifying. A little bit. You're Look. not supposed to say that. <laughs> jitterbug is is super fast, but actually, I was watching our quick step when it came on just before, yeah. and that was faster than this. I am not sure that's true. Yeah, that last section that we did was much faster. The tempo of the song was faster than this. Should we keep arguing in front of everyone? <laughs> or should we just defer to the fact that you're a pro and know what you're talking about and I'm not? Let's do that. Okay. I like that option. So Sharna's right, apparently. <laughs> uh, Always. But yes, it is fast and that makes it tricky, but we'll, we'll make it work somehow. This is the first week that we're doing tricks. We've got... Is some of those, you know, typical like Lindy Hop slash Jitterbug kind of tricks happening in this one. Uh, James did land on my head yesterday, but I may I or may not, to report we're all good. I may or may not have cracked your head into the floor and then landed on it. Yeah, a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. Where I am unbreakable. She's uh, invincible. Is there a song like that, right? Is there a song? I think there's a couple. See ya. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, that's right. So, we just did Ellen. Why don't you tell the people about that? Woo, it was an experience. So, we only got called for Ellen this morning. So, to make that happen, we had to move our rehearsal. Rehearsal? Rehearsal. Wow. You love mixing words together. Just <laughs> rehearsal schedule. Word mashups. Rehearsal. Um, Our interview well, schedule, listen, wardrobe did, fitting. We have to move everything. Yeah. I'm just about to say, it did give us money, though. It did give us money, that's true. Your mashups have... Sometimes are great. ...bore fruit, that's true. So anyway, we did Ellen, and uh, we had to move wardrobe fittings, master interviews, uh, and our rehearsal. We had to move everything. But for Ellen, you do that. Yeah, you do that. Because she's amazing. Mm Mm-hmm. And uh, so we get there, and we're told that they really want our rumba, and that's amazing because we just did it. And we rehearse the rumba, we camera block the rumba, and they go, so we would really like you to do your cha-cha. Now, cha-cha was week three. As we just mentioned, it's week seven. So after they gave us rehearsal, then they said, we want to throw you into the show with the cha-cha. Minor meltdown. Minor, minor meltdown, because obviously James has learned so many dances since then, and he's not a natural dancer, he's not a dancer, so his choreography doesn't stick. Oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. And we're back. Commercial break, real quick. Uh, anyway, we rehearsed it. We panicked. As I was getting my hair and makeup done, this guy was in the other room constantly going through it, watching our video, watching everything. And, uh, I mean, the short story is he crushed it. It went okay. It went well. It went really well. You guys have got to tune in on Monday to see it. Tune in Monday. Watch the on show for the fact. And just understand that we got, what, we got two runs on the floor with the cha-cha before yeah. we had to do it. And I hadn't done it in like almost a month. Yeah, it's crazy. So that was a minor panic, but we pulled it off. It worked, and super excited to get to be on the show and, right. and see Ellen, you again, me for the first time. Um, and yeah, that's kind of she's kinda so awesome. sweet. I love Ellen. You do not realize how blue those eyes are until you're like staring at them True. in the face. They are so crystal blue. She's a wonderful person. All right, mm-hmm. so we're gonna answer some questions, comments, okay, whatever that's happening on here. So if you guys have Line anything, up. throw them to us. And we'll see what we can do. How are you guys feeling about week seven? Kind of touched on that a little bit, but what, how are you feeling about it? Uh, half, currently nervous. Half cup nervous? Half cup nervous. Uh, we have two dancers, but they're not allowing us to do oh, more yeah. time. We told, I totally didn't even touch on that part. We said it well, and then didn't talk about it. Right. Usually, we once we get to two dancers, we have extra rehearsal time to fit it in, but they're not oh. giving us that this this time. I don't know why. So we're basically trying to do twice the amount of work in half the amount of time. Yay! <clears throat> At least Yay. we're not traveling this week. Thank God. That is great. So the other dance is team dance. It's team dance week. We're on a team with Calvin and Lindsay, Ryan and Cheryl, and Artem and Maureen. And I'm very excited about it. And Sharna is very excited about it. Which I love team dance. I love creating group numbers. You just um, love creating. I do. I was creating. Yeah, I like creating. It's my favorite thing in the world. Um, but it's, we're team past, and so uh, by past we we went way back. Our song is was written in the 1700s, and published in the 1800s. Yay! So uh, you know, it's pretty dang old. It was number one on the top 40 charts back in 1726, <laughs> and let me tell Ryan you, Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest's radio show had it on on the top of the charts for I think like three straight months. Wait, that doesn't mean that we think Ryan Seacrest is really old. That's just no, we're just saying he's, he's so magical. 
and yes. That he had a top radio, top forty radio station before there was radio. Ryan, I apologize. That was not supposed to come out that way. <laughs> he knows. You he are knows young what you mean. and very good looking. There you go. <laughs> uh, who, 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 who is your biggest competition? I mean, I think that's a pretty clear leader of the pack at the minute, Miss uh, Lori Hernandez, yeah. and and her partner Val. They're killing it, but there are a lot of people killing it. So. Listen, I think Calvin is killing it as well. Calvin is incredible. I did not expect that man with those lengthy limbs to be able to move quite the way he does. No. I mean, he's a football player. He should be agile. Now that I think about it, it makes sense, but... Well, it's not as easy as I you think. It was, I, no, I know exactly how uneasy it is. What What has been your favorite dance so far? Ooh, that's a good question. Honestly, I think... I think... They all, they all give you something different, you know? I mean, the Rumble was our best score, and I think one of the best executions. Um, but most memorable year was pretty cool. Our tango was pretty cool. Oh, that was amazing. I that really was enjoyed my that favorite. dance. Yeah, I think that's probably my favorite as well. That Just was my everything about it. The, the choreography into it, the dance itself, the, yeah. the music was cool. Um, most memorable was one of my favorites. Yeah, so that one's probably my favorite so far. Um, we're going to the CBS television studios as well on Beverly. Not back to, yes, where you picked me up. Yeah, the same place. Yeah, yeah. sorry, you need Sorry, hi. <laughs> uh, ooh, any costume plans for Halloween? Yes, but we're so not telling you because oh, it's so good. It's super secret, but it's going to be amazing. We have got a couple Halloween parties to go to, though, and we should probably change it up and not do the same thing all the time. So, same thing at the one time. What, all the things at the one time? All the things at the one time. James makes fun of the way that I speak. That's because you don't speak proper. <laughs> But it's funny. It's, it's I, funny. I'm, I'm for it. It's yeah. just, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, we should probably talk about we that. Should, we're going to talk about we'll, we'll, yeah. Been Secret voting stuff. for you every week. Thanks, Peggy. You're a doll. Thank we you, everyone, it. for voting. If you're just tuning in, we love you all. My favorite was all of them. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Kind of the same here, but... Who's got questions? What is one song that you love to dance to? Okay, I'll wait. I have a question. What has been the hardest thing for you with this experience of Dancing with the Stars? What's been the hardest thing so far? Getting a fake tan. <laughs> it was just soul destroying. Yes, okay, that, right. but but what else? What else? Wearing guy liner. Nope, stop. I want something like, no jokes. I want the, dead set. What has been the hardest thing for you? The lace see-through shirt. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying. What's been the hardest thing? Is, is just knowing that you've got one, you only got one chance to do it, you know, to like, we'll go to, we'll be in rehearsal and we'll run through it, you know, four or five times and one of those will just be like, perfect, just nail it. But you had three or four runs before to do it, you know, and so you feel confident, whatever. When it gets to show day, you run through a once in dress rehearsal and then that's it. Yeah. And it's like a lot of downtime before you actually go out and perform. And for me, I, like the repetition is good for me and having that break, that big break before we go on after dress rehearsal, that's the hardest part, is like really turning it on on that moment. Right. So that's, that's tricky. Mm hmm That's the tricky part. Loved the guy liner. Abby, you're lying. I thought the guy liner was fantastic. Mm -hmm. How do you get a Vote Hinge shirt? If you go on the IndyCar website and go into the shop uh, there and go under my name for under driver's uh, apparel, all the, uh, the Burgess Hinch 16 shirts and vote for Hinch signs and whatever, they're all there. And important to remember that a proceed, uh, the proceeds from all of those sales or that stuff go to uh, charity as well. Um, will there be a Disney night this season? What do you think? No, because we don't do Disney in the fall season. We usually do a Halloween episode. Uh, so Disney uh, happens in the, the season at the start of the year. But there is Halloween. Which we are very excited about. What other IndyCar driver do you think should attempt the show? We kind of so we did a video for the IndyCar banquet because I was not able to make the Who'd banquet you say this was year. The really good looking one? Joseph Newgarden is who I, I would hands out, down nominate. Sharna would love to partner you in uh, in, in next season. Well, maybe, well, I guess two seasons because next season you're going to be kind of yeah. busy. Uh, but you should do it. Your new teammate Elio Castroneves did it and with some success. And I saw earlier... Uh, that... You might be crushing it also, though. Can we give you a little credit right now? <laughs> he got told that he was the best man... Hey, hi. You're fine, darling. You got to... We got told that you were the best male dancer that's been on the show so far. And I paid her a lot of money to say it. Stop. It was a very... That was a huge compliment by Julianne. I was very much appreciated, even Amazing. if I don't necessarily... I did... There have been so many, it's impossible to choose one. But the fact that my name's even in that conversation is incredible. It's incredible. And I'm very lucky for that. Mm -hmm. And that Elio's name is obviously in that conversation. Mm -hmm. and I saw a question earlier. Did he give us... Did he give me any pointers? And he absolutely did. He helped me out a lot at the start, and we had a lot of great conversations before 
a before I even agreed to come on the show than right. he once I started. So he's right. been uh, he has been awesome. What are you gonna miss most about Dancing with the Stars? You. Oh. Yeah. I was like, what are you gonna <laughs> miss about Dancing? With the that was such a loaded question. You teed that one up. There's only one way I was getting out of this car live. Yes. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna start documenting? Oh, <laughs> um, might have got it. Right, so Sharna has this this tendency. We're gonna leave you on this, guys, because we don't want to drag yeah, this on too it, long, yeah. and we're pulling up to rehearsal. But we're gonna leave you th with this little nugget of information, this little story. I've started to document something that Sharna does in rehearsal, and she doesn't really realize that she's doing it. But she often puts her hair up into a little like top knot bun thing. But they they are a different shape every single time she does it and they're all so unique somehow We're, we've been doing this for like seven weeks and somehow her little top knot always looks different and so i'm literally going to take photos of all of sharna's top knots and put together a coffee table book for her and it's just going to be you know sharna burgess in top knot photos and i honestly can't wait i think it's going to be true you can tell an entire story you can tell what kind Fantastic. of day she's having based on her top knot i love it so that's that's pretty exciting anyway yeah. Um, we should, guys, no, we yes. should leave you with it. We're going to leave you with that. Thank you so much for watching now, for watching the show, for all your votes. But mm -hmm. please keep voting. Nobody's safe. We need all the help we can mm -hmm. get. And uh, and we'll be back. We promise we won't wait another you know month before we do one of these. It's yeah, we'll do long. another one. Actually, I think the show wants us to do one from rehearsal soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Oh, stay tuned. Jesus, I'm on struggle street with, with speaking it's, today. It's been a day. Stay tuned. It's been a day. <laughs> and definitely make sure you tune in to Ellen on Monday and check it out. For sure. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.